Okay, well out on the table here in front of us, we have everything from yesterday's video to the Goodwill. We spent $91 total and we got a lot of stuff. Yeah, we did. Yes, we did. We were very excited. We'd never been to this Goodwill before and it was like... It was overwhelming. It, it was, was. It was overwhelming. It was bigger than any that we have. Yeah. Like either our Goodwills were big and then we went to that one and I'm like, oh my god. And there's a bins attached there's to it. There's a bins attached to it that we didn't even have time to go to. So we're going to make another trip out there and spend time at the bins, spend time at the thrift store, and get a couple of videos. But anyway, let's talk about what we got yesterday. So, like I said, our total spend was $91, just in case you forget to tell you what we spent on this stuff. Um, keep that in mind as we go through this, telling you a little bit about what we spent and how much we expect to get for this stuff. So, uh, I kind of didn't split it up between what you got and what I got. I kind of just yeah, dumped everything on the table. Whatevs. Eh, we'll get through it. Uh, one of my favorite things is probably one of the silliest things on the table. Cool, though. It's this, and this is more than likely a ceramics paint it yourself uh, because it is marked by the, by the artist on the bottom, Marilyn, uh, September 1973. I just I love the shape of it, and I think she did a really nice job on those flowers. They're not kinda why stencils. I grabbed, it's kind of why I grabbed this. I believe that's made in Italy. I've seen those before, and I think they're made in Italy. I'm not positive on that. I don't know. I really, I really liked all the color in it, and just the, the way it pops, the paint that they used on. I've the seen flowers. them in orange before. I've never seen them in green. I, I like it though. I like it. Yeah. I think it would make a nice vase or a planner. Absolutely, and it's not damaged or anything like that. There's no you cracks in it. Two dollars. Two dollars, and the inside is glazed, yes. so it will hold liquid. I don't know. I liked it. I thought I it was cool. Too. Probably it's weighs a ton heavy. Though. I was gonna say, how are we gonna ship that? This probably by itself weighs four pounds. It's pretty heavy. But you'd ship it. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. If somebody wants to pay the shipping on it, absolutely, not a problem. It's an easy ship. Awesome. I think that would probably go for twenty-five. I I would think so. I mean, I, as a as a planter or a vase. They do have lids. I've seen them with lids. Yeah, yeah, and and usually the lid just has like a little circular knob with the on knob, it. knob, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I've I've owned a few over the years. I've dug a few over the years. Oh, have you? Turn of the century dumps. Oh. So I know that's actually an older piece of pottery. I like. It. Yes. Um, for this, I would probably expect to get twenty-five to thirty because it's a shape. And because of the subject matter, the flowers, it's 1970s, I really like it. I think somebody else will too. I thought it was cool. Yeah, and I actually... I didn't really... You know what? I'll tell you what. For somebody that's like did a homemade piece, they did a really nice know, job on that. I know, right? So, mad props to... Marilyn. Marilyn from yeah. 1973. Yeah, I really like that piece. Uh, another one we got was this. See, that's cool. Chicken. I like how it's got that satin look to yeah, it. Yeah, it's satin glass. Uh, I was noticing that the beak is chipped, which I didn't notice before. Got a chippy beak. Mmm, got to take a better look. Yeah, I know, and I don't know if I actually don't know if that happened in packing. I don't remember because we looked at it for chips. And you know what? I ran my fingers around the edges and. But you know what? I don't think I checked the beak. I always gotta check the beak. I don't think I checked the beak. <laughs> I checked the tail, I checked the edges, but I don't think I checked the beak. Mm. Well, we paid $3 for this in good condition. It would sell for $20 to $30 to a collector. Unfortunately, in our condition, I'm not sure how much it would sell. I would probably, just to get it out the door and not throw it in the trash, I would list it as is, auction style for a $2 starting bid and Somebody wants it, they can have it. There you go. Yeah. Because I mean, the beak, I don't think it's really that. It's really not that bad. It's not. It's and not it's like the not, whole beak is missing. And it's not super noticeable either. No, that's the problem. We yeah. didn't notice it. So we paid $3 for that. We're going to make our money back, I think, even as a as is auction. Uh, but just a lesson to look closer. 
Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're always giving me a hard time about being a party pooper or whatever. I don't know. A fun sponge? A fun sponge, whatever you want to call me. We learned that in tonight's movie. A fun sponge. Fun sponge. But, <laughs> no, it's important to check the stuff. And, actually, I got probably, I don't know, five items out of one little box that I, I bought this past Sunday that you guys haven't seen yet. She hasn't seen it yet either. Um, that were damaged. Oh. And I didn't notice when I bought them. So I was a little irritated. Oh. Well, it's dark when you're there. So it's kind of like, uh, you, you kind of have a pass because it's dark. And everybody's kind of like crowding. Yeah. yeah. You just got to move quick. So it's not the end of the world. Do you want to talk about that? Yeah, these are cool. I like these. Um, they're not worth a terrible huge amount of money. They're they're modern Native American souvenir pots. Um, I want to say these are Navajo, but this is I don't believe this is. This is Southwest, but it might be Pueblo. It might be Navajo. I'm not 100 percent sure. I still have to research this one. Um, the 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 fact that it's got the blue in it kind of throws off. Pueblo, because Pueblo is usually like reds and browns and white pottery or light color. I, the blue, the blue is just screams Navajo. I know nothing about this. Yeah. I don't know. I have to research it a little more and see what style it really is, but it, it could be either or it's Southwest. And, and I, you know, three bucks for this big piece. This is a really pretty piece. It was three bucks for the two smaller ones together. Yeah, here, hold them up for them. I mean, you can't, you can't go wrong. They are marked on the bottom. And the, yeah, and they are signed. Absolutely, they are signed. And most of the pieces that you'll find that were bought at trading posts or souvenir shops out in the Southwest, a lot of them are signed. Most of them are, and it's really cool because you get to get a piece of hand painted art. Now, I don't typically buy these for resale. This is an Andrew thing, and I steer clear of them because. When they're cheap enough, you can pick them up. I, I like them. I have feel good about yes. them. It's um, kind of like me and what is it like? Certain, it's like me and certain things that certain, I pick yeah, up. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm like, well, why? That's like the ugliest thing in the world. It doesn't sell for very much. That's the but same thing. you have yeah. <laughs> you have a you have a, a, a an affection an, yeah an affection for it. And I just I don't know. I like the stuff. I like the colors. I like the designs. And I don't know. I accept you for it. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. I also got this for $4. It is art glass. Whether or not it is Murano, I do not know. It has controlled bubbles, so it, it must be Murano. It has controlled bubbles. Mary. It has a very flat poncil mark. Very polished. Um, I paid $4 for this. It's pretty. Whether or not it's Murano, hmm, I don't know. I would say for this, I could get 20 to 25 without knowing. It's all Murano. It's all Murano. It's just the way it That's is. That's an ongoing joke. We're going to make that joke in every <laughs> single video forever, just so you know. Um, so yeah, I paid four bucks for that. I think this is Murano too. I think so. At least it was four score and seven years ago <laughs> when it had coffee in it. <laughs> You know, you picked this up and I was like, I, I need that. I need that in my life. <laughs> you know, the horse butt mug was, was easily yeah, sold, yeah, but yeah. I'm, I, I don't think I can part with no, this. No, I don't think so. I think you're going to hold on I, to that. I think, I think actually this, not this weekend, but next weekend when I'm at the Gettysburg show and I'm sitting there having my coffee in the morning. <laughs> I'm just going to sit there at my little table with all my stuff set up and I'm just going to drink out of Abe's face. <laughs> my mug is going to be in Abe's mug. Oh, that's so clever. You're so clever. Okay. Um, that, was, that was a good $2 buy. It was. I'll, I'll, I will grant it. Apparently me saying I will grant it is me being very mean to you. Really? Oh yes, I got a nasty oh, so Facebook mean. comment. You're so mean. You're so condescending when you say I will grant it. Like, oh, that's just something I say as a joke. You should see the things I grant and don't grant around the house. <laughs> They'd have a cow. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, 
Um, so I grabbed this as well. This is Royal Hager, or maybe it's just No, Hager. that's the one I picked up. Is that the one no, I picked up? No, you picked up this one. Oh, I did pick that one up, yeah. Actually, I don't know if this is Hager or Royal Hager. It's Hager. Royal Hager was the era in which Royal Hickman was a designer for Hager. Right. And I believe Hager came after that. Um, so this one is simply marked Hager USA. This is a bulb planter, um, so it would be just shallow bulbs or succulents, something like that. But it's just a nice shape. It's got yeah. an eggshell uh, eggshell finish, and I like it. I do. $3, I would expect to get about 20 for it. Yeah, and I spotted this one, which is a lot more modern Hager. It is. It's Hager Floral, Macomb, Illinois, made in USA. Yes. It still has the original sticker, but it's Hager. It's a pretty looking piece. I mm -hmm. liked it. It's and probably for a floral shop. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And that's okay because it's still Hager. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Agreed. And you like it. I like it. And I like the color. It. I will grant will it. Will you grant I it? I will grant it. Thank you, my master. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I love that it's like this grayish blue. But I think I think it's a nice, it would look really nice with big flowers out of it. But for this piece, probably again about twenty bucks. I mean, these, these Hager pieces aren't anything spectacular. When you find a spectacular Hager piece, then you're talking big money. But the planters, just the ordinary, simple planters, they don't really go for a whole lot. No. So. But again, it's one of those things. It's, it's, it's an affinity for that type of pottery. I have an obsession with Hager, if you guys have not noticed. I will always buy Hager. It's a thing. Yeah, I mean, I like I like Hager. It's, I like it too. Yeah, and somebody commented on our in our Facebook group. They're like, why is why is everybody so crazy about Hager? I don't understand the appeal. It's really not worth that much. And it, I'm like, eh, it's some pieces can be, you know. But for mm -hmm. me, it's just that I happen to like Hager pottery. I just can't help it. Uh, so these were interesting. I really liked these. Andrew picked them out. I the only reason I I was hesitant was because they did not have saucers. I know. We had dessert plates and we had teacups, but we do not have saucers. And that is why I was hesitant with these, but they are really pretty. They are, they're, they're hand painted. They're Staffordshire bone china, so they're a quality china. Um, yeah, I'm just I, bummed there was no saucer. But we paid five dollars, or no, we paid four dollars because it was five dollars for five pieces, um, and the um, the guy yeah. at the counter was like, "Oh well, there's only four pieces. I'll only charge you four. Yeah, I mean, so you can so. see like the plate is just yeah, it's really beautiful, gorgeous, and and all the paint on here, it pops. Mm -hmm. It's got it's that like moriage pop yeah. to it. And unfortunately, I don't know the pattern, so I wasn't able to find any comps on it, but. I, I figured for four dollars, it's got to be it's got to be worth more than that. So, um, but nope, couldn't find any comps. But really, I I just thought it was really nice. And I think for uh, Staffordshire, Staffordshire, Staffordshire. Oh, we're doing accents. We could. Oh, okay, Staffordshire. Staffordshire. No, oh, you can't go wrong there. Oh, hold on, we have to do it like this. Mm. You have to say Staffordshire. Staffordshire. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> proper, proper teacups. Um, <laughs> Pretty stuff though. It's beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. And so, if you know the pattern, just let us know in the comments. Yeah, I'd I'd be interested to see if it's a a, a better pattern or not because normally I don't pick up the English bone china anymore. It's got to be something exceptional, and yeah. and to me this is exceptional. Mhm. Mm yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I like it. Uh, okay, let's talk about this. Now, these are Majolica. Uh, kind of. I kind of expected to see a mark on the bottom that said made in Portugal. Because a lot of these are made in, they're, they're still made. And I think it's made by, by Bordillo. There's a company that makes these. And they're made to look like vegetables and stuff like that. And they're from Portugal. A set of 12 of these sells for $70 if they're made by that company. These are not made by that company. So, I just don't know. I'm thinking for these, I could probably expect 35 to 40 because there is some chipping on some of the bowls, but it's a really nice salad set. 
I just wish I had some. It's got marks. some age to it. It does. Oh it's, yeah, it's, it's vintage. Got, it's got crazing. Yes, absolutely vintage. And it's not modern, made to look old crazing either. No, no, there is age to it. Uh, I just I don't know who makes it. That's the problem. It's a shame the big bowl has a huge crack in it. What? Just kidding. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Giant, giant lettuce bowl. <coughs> and then we actually only have five little bowls. Which makes me suspect that it might be from Japan because in a previous video, Sue had found a set of five plates and the viewers had pointed out that in Japan, a set of five was a set. Mm. Whereas here we have even sets, mm -hmm. there they have. So I don't know, uh, I don't know if maybe one of them broke and that's why there's a set of five or it's possible that it's made in Japan. Although it's got a really good weight to it and usually like we've talked about. I was gonna say, even <laughs> even for the small plate here, this thing, this thing. Weighs good, yeah, it's got good weight. It, it does. And that's one of the things we have talked about in the past is I'm like, he's picked something up and. I, and, and the good, we were in the good yeah, one. I was like, hey, well. check out this vase. It's pretty cool or this picture or whatever it yeah. was. And, and you were like, oh, it's probably made in Japan. I'm like, yeah, it's really light yeah. weight. Yeah, I said, what's the weight like? Oh, it's light, yeah. Japan. <laughs> So because of the weight on these, I just, I don't know. I don't know, it got me stumped. But I'm thinking probably 35 to 40 for those because of the condition. If they were in immaculate condition, we'd be talking more, but, oh, are you, go ahead. Japan. But you know what, I, I, I just had a feeling about this. It's pretty. It is, it's really pretty. It's, it's birds. mark on it. It, and yeah, it does. It has a small hallmark here, as well as the stickers on the bottom. See, there's a mark here and marks on the bottom. Okay. Which I thought was unusual that they actually, okay, so they put the sticker in English, Japan, which is mm -hmm. like a totally 1970s style sticker. Yeah. And then you have the Japanese caricatures on the other sticker. And I'd like to know what those say. That might be the company, the maker. Yeah. And this may be the artist. This might be the yes. artist cartouche yeah. for this particular piece. I, I don't know. Stunning colors, though. It's really nice. Really cool colors with the birds. Is it glazed on the inside? Yes. Are those birds? Yeah, they're birds. Oh, they are birds. Yeah, that's why I said the subject matter was cool, because they're little, they're little birds. They're like little cranes that look like... I've been looking at this face this whole time, and I never saw birds until... You never time. saw the birds? No. There's, there's an eye and a beak and a tail. I see them now. Okay. It's kind of like when you look at the clouds and you're like, oh, <laughs> look, look at that thing that I'm seeing. I don't know. It just, uh, <laughs> it, it was just one of those things that just kind of like popped for me. I, I don't know. As much as I don't like buying the Asian stuff, every once in a while I get a feeling and I get a feeling. Okay. So I don't I'll know. Trust your feelings. We'll see. And I'm not sure how much that would go for because no, I just don't know. No, but I would definitely like to try to figure out that cartouche. Yeah, sure, absolutely. Uh, okay, let's talk about the silver crest. <laughs> I totally lost it in the video. And what happened was, and I didn't catch it on film, I was going down the aisle and there was a lady like right in front of it. And I reached in front of her and grabbed two pieces, like one in each hand and put it in the cart. And I was like, oh my gosh. And then she just stood there and hovered. And I, I didn't want to reach in front of her again and grab any more of it. So I just kind of stood back and pretended to look at other stuff and waited for her to move. And she picked up something else. And, and then she picked up one of the silver and she's like looking at it. And I'm like, oh, please, no, please, no. Please. And she set it back and then she kept moving. And I just grabbed it all and threw it in the cart. I was so excited. Um, we were talking earlier about, you know, how Andrew likes the, the Native American pottery, even though it, sometimes it doesn't sell for very much. Guilty of Fenton right here. Yeah. Now we've talked about silver crest before. It's the milk glass with the silver trim, which is actually just clear glass. Uh, this pattern specifically with the purple flowers is called violets in the snow. Uh, we've got four pieces here and they don't sell for a ton of money but I got really excited when I found them. Uh, probably because I collect silver crests but I don't collect it when it's 
painted on. I just collect the plain stuff, believe it or not, which is not super valuable. One of the pieces you showed you could look for when you're looking for a silver crest is the blue. It's it's blue glass, like a blue uh, milk glass, blue opaline, uh, with the silver crest cake plate. That sells for really good money. But the bell sells for 10 to 15. This one is actually a Spanish lace. I don't know if that would sell for more because it's not plain, but I'm thinking probably 10 to 50 on the bell. Uh, the dishes, uh, both of these, probably again, 15 to 20 for those. And this as well. Now that one is signed and yes, the basket is signed. That's worth noting as well. This one is not. Yeah. So different artists would paint them and sign them. Is the bell signed? Yes. Sometimes certain artists will. Ooh, oh my god. Sometimes certain artists will get higher money um, because certain people will collect certain artists. Yeah. So, um, unfortunately, I don't know which artists are more collectible. So. I couldn't tell you, oh, this one's going to be worth more because so-and-so signed it. Right. Um, but the average price that these go for is... They're not like baseball cards where you can look it up in the price guide <laughs> who's who's worth yeah. more, yeah. I'm sure there's a book on it. Um, but the basket is also that, that Spanish lace. Yeah, it's really pretty. It is. And it's signed. This one's signed Chapman, and it has the Fenton mark. It's really pretty. Yeah. But... So we got those pieces. I'm pretty thrilled with those, obviously. One of the other pieces sitting with them was this fantastic thing. That's pretty epic. I, I kind of really like that because that's just not something it's, you see no, anymore. No, you don't. It literally holds your cigarettes yes. and is, is an ashtray as yep. well. Yep, and it is made by Norcrest. Uh, these typically will sell for $20 to $25. That's Pretty cool piece. It's really cool. I don't think I've ever seen one like this before. It's super fancy. It is. It is. And it's got like two different size slots. Yep. So I almost wonder if this would have been for like a smaller cigar while these would have been for cigarettes. It's fancy. I don't know. It is. It's for really fancy. fancy. people. Um, all right. What else do we have on the table? All kinds of stuff. Hmm. I snagged this for three bucks. I looked online. Um, I know King Kong stuff is popular, so I just I just happened to glance over. I picked it up. I looked at it. I said, "Oh, it's a Universal Studios souvenir." Eh, 1986. Hmm, okay, it's worth looking up. <laughs> so I did look online. There are none completed. There are three currently listed, $23, or $24, $25, and $30. So, I mean, for... You, you can come in low and... 20 bucks. Yeah. 20 bucks for a nice vintage King Kong collectible, Universal Studios. Sure. So, for three bucks... Absolutely. I'm game. Um, mm. Our glass vase? Yeah, that one really caught my eye. Um, it's pottery though. It is. Yeah, it's... You paid two dollars for this. I like that. I mean, I like the glaze. It's, it's I, nice I glaze. think that's what caught my eye. It was the, the colors yeah. and the glaze. The green and the gray mixed together. I do like the glaze. I think the reason I wasn't super excited... Oh, there is a mark on it too, right there. Somebody oh, yeah. put their mark on it. Yep. I think the reason I wasn't super excited about it is just because it's kind of just a... a Standard dull form, but the inside is crazed. Yeah, it's got some age to it. There's somebody's hair in there. Ew. Ew, gotta clean that out. <laughs> it's not mine. <laughs> oh, come on. Really? What is wrong with you? It was already up. Oh, that's still in there, actually. Okay. We'll wash it. That's what we do. We wash things and we get stuff out. We don't blow it on people that we care about. So, <laughs> I paid $2 for that. I would expect to get 10 to 15 I liked it. I know. It might go higher. It caught my I eye. I don't know. There is a mark on it, but I can't make it out. It's very faint. It looks like just a little circle, honestly. All right, it's going on midnight. What else do you got? 
snagged a United States Marine Corps mug. This one's actually a vintage one. Mm -hmm. um, these are always good for eight to ten bucks a piece. Cool. Turtle. 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 You turtle. got your turtle. Turtle. I grabbed this turtle platter. I have never seen one like this, and I paid four dollars for it. I don't. I think it's cool. I don't think I'll ever see another one like it. Uh, Didn't Sam lay claim to that? She did. I don't know if this one is going up on eBay, unfortunately. I apologize. I know a lot of people were super excited about this, but I, I think this Sam is, doesn't ever ask She never for asked anything. for anything. We've offered things that she's shown interest, and she's like, no, nah, I'm cool. I don't really need any stuff. But she saw that, and she was like, I have to have that, please. And, you know, she does do a lot of work for us. She does. And, um, she legitimately, yesterday, yeah. humped six big, heavy banana boxes full of stuff up to the third floor. Yeah. So. Now, granted, we pay her. But, but still. <laughs> you make it but, sound like but she does a lot for us, so we're going to give her just this. But she does. <laughs> she, she she busts her butt. She does. Oh, yeah. She works very hard. She, she but, does. Um, so. She never. She does all these listings, and, she, and she's never shown an interest in anything. The turtle. The turtle. So. Sam gets the turtle. And she um, said she's going to bring it to Yeah, the only every... condition, the only condition of me giving her this turtle was that she would bring it to every family gathering and present it. You know what we should, <laughs> you know what we should do? We should take a picture with it at every family event yes. and just post a picture with the turtle <laughs> bowl at every family event. Okay, I'm game. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I like that idea. Um, so yeah, I mean, I have no idea who makes it. I don't know where it came from. I, mean, I don't know I would, how old it is. I would assume it's a modern piece. Oh, anyway. yeah. It's just fantastic, though. Oh, gosh. Got a couple Homer Laughlin pieces. I'm um, serve. Yeah, they they actually match the cup. There's a set of custard. We have some custard. Custard, yeah, custard cups. Custard cups that go with those. So the, it was four bucks for the pair. Mm -hmm. So two bucks a piece. That's that's pretty good. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure how much this would go for. I want to say about fifteen. I love this heavy stuff. Yeah, twelve to fifteen, I think each. These things. These things hold. And up. I couldn't find any comps, so um, that's a guess. That's a guesstimate on those. <sighs> and you've got Afghans over there. You know, oh Afghans. yes. Uh, the thing about textiles, and we say this all the time, is it's hard to say this is how much it'll go for because textiles are unique. And especially, well, I mean, obviously, if they're handmade, they're, they're handmade. Unique. Yeah, so it's it's really hard to say this is how much this will go for. So, typically, on Afghans, we'll make upwards of twelve dollars. Twelve is kind of like the base of what we will make. So yeah. we consider that when we buy them. Uh, this one says, "What does it say? Handmade by Grace E. Fisher." So she actually put her Fisher. so she actually put her tag in it. This yep. one was three ninety five. Mm -hmm. Um, it's plain. However, what caught my eye was I liked the color in it. It's a very simple color, easy to match to mm -hmm. furniture and pillows and other things. But I liked the edge on it as well. Yes. Um, she, she, she definitely put some work into the edge. It's got, it's got her tag in there. And that tag is a vintage tag. Yeah. That is not a modern tag in any way, shape, or form. Sure so that's, that's a cool piece. So yeah. she, she took enough... Time to put her tag on it. We're gonna Absolutely. we're gonna make sure somebody gets this that's gonna like that. Um, I hadn't got to this one yet, but I had spotted it because <laughs> I think this uh, yeah this other one was right next to it. But this is cool. I like that one. This I one was like three ninety five as well, I believe. This was super cheap. Yeah, here's the tag. <coughs> um, I did not see a personalized label tag on this at all. So, but I love the way the black is woven in there. I think the stripes are great. Yeah, yeah, that, that took a lot of time and work. Um, this one, I like the color on it, it's fun and I colors. liked. I mean, I think this is more of like a like maybe a leg lap blanket, lap yeah. blanket, yeah, for your legs. Um, I liked it. I thought the colors were great. This one was two fifty, so this was super cheap. So, yeah, I'm picking up textiles, which is like. It's all right. I'm not complaining. Weird. 
You really liked my airplane. I did, yeah. This one, this was two fifty. I like that. I thought this was really cool because this has got all these little flowers and stuff sewn yeah. into it. That is pretty awesome. I think it's weird that they're all on the edge though. That's what I don't understand. Is like it's a square, but they're all on one edge. Yeah. So it's two fifty, but all of everything, all the decoration is just on one corner. So I don't know. Well, yeah. I don't I know get... if that's like a table. It's probably a table thing, right? I am, you know, I'm not 100% sure. I don't sure. know either. It's weird. I'm weirded by the single corner. I don't know. I really liked it though. Somebody, somebody really put a lot of effort into that. I mean, that's, there's, there's a lot of color I and like change it. and detail in this. Even like the center of the flowers have those little, yeah. like, yeah, I knots. I like it. Yeah. So for 250? Yep. Yeah. Why not? Absolutely. And I think that was it. That was it. It from yeah. the Goodwill. Yep, we did it. Now I can go to bed. We have to edit it first. Oh, now I gotta edit. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul from the Goodwill. We did really well for $91. I feel like we got a, a, a lot of good pieces. Um, there was nothing outstanding, like we're gonna make $100 on this, but it all adds up. It really does. It does. Uh, so I think I think we're gonna do all right. I like volume. I do too. We like working in volume. That's our thing. We work in volume. Uh, but anyway, we did good. Uh, what is? You guys are seeing this tomorrow, so we are on our way to New Jersey. New Jersey for a metal detecting event. But I've got all my videos scheduled, so if I'm not real responsive in the comments, you'll know why. Yeah. Um, all my videos are scheduled, but I will see you guys. Tomorrow? Yes. Oh, can I? Oh, give me one of those. I want to tease them. I want to tease them. I bought these. <laughs> Double dot Pepsi Cola 10 ounce soda glasses. Mm -hmm. I bought a six pack of these. Yeah, you did. And I'm giving them away. Birthday gift for a friend. She yeah. collects Pepsi stuff. And we're going to see her this weekend. We have the same birthday. Yeah. So it's really cool. So She's going to like those. Yes. I'll clean them up a little bit. They look kind of... Yeah, you Dirty, probably should. I'll, uh, but yeah, I'll wash them <laughs> first. All right, well, we will see you guys tomorrow. Later. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook.